nice to have you. Nice to have you. I'm gonna have you on. Did we say this side for her lighting? Yeah. I I, I always like to get good lighting. That's my first no, priority. Thank you. It's like the most important thing. <laughs> it is. It is right. It is. All right. Ready? All right. So I have Tracy here, the star of the film. So tell me how you got involved with this project. Well, you know, I'd worked on a couple of other projects with Neil Johnson before. I did a voiceover for a spaceship and this, that, and the other thing. But he watched over the years how committed I was to my work and how seriously I take all of my characters and how hard I work. I work harder than just about anybody I know. And he's like, I really need to find a project where you can lead it up for me and we can have that same kind of dedication that we have and make a really great project. So we went through script after script after script that he'd written, and I love robotics. So I grew up, my dad was the, he owned a, the largest power electronics convention in the world. So I was around it in computers long before most people even knew about computers. So um, we kind of settled on this project, we got our cast together, he rewrote it once we had our cast together and the rest of it is history. Lots of bumps and bruises and scars along the way but it has been an absolute blast. <laughs> now I know Neil, the director, has talked about how he really physically pushed you on set. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I have scars to prove it if you want to look down. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, it was one of those things where no, when the camera's running, I never say no. And so he'd say, do it again, and do this and do that. And it was like, even though I physically felt like I couldn't do anymore, I would just keep going. And I think that that's part of what shows in the film, because that character, it is the end of the world. And she is, you know, saving, you know, humanity from artificial intelligence. So it makes sense that she would do everything that she could. And I got injured so many times. And, <laughs> and so you'll see it in the film. You'll see there's times where she's limping. There's times where she looks like she's in pain. And I just brought it to work with me. You know, it was like, you just show up the next day, and that's what that character's living at that point point in time so it kind of brought her to life even more what was the hardest stunt or maybe film that you uh, you know you filmed I wanted to say scene right there but scene that you filmed I would say out in Yuma Arizona um, tattooing when you'll see there's a there's a pinnacle on the film and there's sand dunes that are hundreds of feet high and and um, I had to scale up the back of those before we could even start the scene because we didn't want to have footprints and so I'm literally going thigh deep in the sand just scaling up the back and then the scene would start and I didn't take into consideration the fact that we'd have to do so many takes and so a couple of times I'm in these high heel boots and and once I fell like right at the beginning and I roll down the hill and I get to the bottom and he's like that's not where you're supposed to fall and I'm like no I really fell it was like you'll go back up and do it again I'm like okay <laughs> now you spoke about robotics was that one of the main things that like pushed you to like be interested in doing this film? Well, I love I love science fiction. I mean, I'm a sci-fi junkie. So, but the fact of having to do with artificial intelligence and the fact that, you know, we do all walk around with our cell phones in front of our faces and we are starting to rely a lot upon artificial intelligence. So, the film made sense to me and it was easy for me to create a character around all the situations that we were in because it's really some of what we're facing in real life. Yeah. Um, what do you think is the biggest things that you think fans who are coming to see this movie should be excited about? Um, I think the fact that, you know, people who love science fiction will show up for the film. I think that the real treat in the film is that it's so character driven. And so even people who don't love science fiction will enjoy the movie, even if it isn't their genre. And I think that's what's really cool about it. It's really rare in science fiction. And the character is, it's not a copy of anything else. You know, she she's she's her own creation and she wasn't you know I didn't take anybody else into consideration when I created her I just let the script speak for itself and let her kind of come to life that's amazing and do you have any other projects coming up I know you have Road Warrior and you're dealing with right now that but anything else in the future um, I actually have another film coming out next month it's a comedy it's called Who's Jenna and I'm the lead female on that and then we just wrapped on the time war. I'm one of the leads in that. And it's the story of Adolf Hitler traveling through time and rewriting history. And I have about 20 versions of my character. And they're all completely different in that. And we just shot in England for a few weeks. And uh, I'd say about four months here. And when does that come out? About four months. Wow. OK, yeah. so we're going to have to look out for that film right now. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a pleasure having you here on Fabulous TV. And wish you nothing but the luck. And looking forward to seeing the film. June 2nd. Today Day. It's coming out on theaters, so make sure to take a look for it, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And if Thank you don't you. mind, I'm just going to have you do a shout out to Fabulous TV. Just sure. your full name, the character, and you're watching Fabulous TV. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. Hi, I'm Tracy Bertel. I play Sienna in Rogue Warrior. And this is a shout out to Fab TV. Thank <laughs> you.